What's up, Mad25 Gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be talking about how to stop the halfback slip screen in Mad25. I apologize for not getting this out yesterday. I tried to record it, and for some reason, my computer would not save the video. Uh, so, we're going to do a retake today. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into this. So, I want to show you two different types of screens. Uh, I want to talk about slip screen, uh, which is right now one of the most common. But then, I also want to talk about the wide receiver screen because uh, typically people. Uh, People have a defense that can stop the halfback slip screen, but some people can't stop the wide receiver screen with the same defense. Um, so we're going to talk about one specific defense that can help you out uh, against both plays. So the play comes from the nickel 3-3-5, uh, two-man under. This can be found in the Tampa Bay playbook. Um, what we like to do with this play is we like to man a line. Uh, so that if they're in like a spread or a twin set, we can match up man on man. Um, then what I really like to do is I like to manually press... Uh, my slot guy over the slot receiver on the right and then I'll swing this guy down so that he presses up here uh, that way we get a nice press at the line of scrimmage um, remember that when we run this blitz we like to swing this linebacker out we like to spread our defensive line All right, and then there's a couple of extra things that you can do here you can man up this defensive tackle on the halfback I recommend all this because the reason because it makes it a very stout defense overall not just for the slip screen um, then we like to quarterback contain the right of screen defensive end. We like to drop this middle linebacker into a deep zone. And if we can, we really like to put both safeties in flat zones or purple or curl flat zones. Um, so that they're flowing to the sidelines. Because if you know anything about a screen, most screens attack the, the sideline of the field. And so here we're going to run our halfback sub screen. And you're going to see that the contain is going to sit... Uh, right in the spot, and they can't wait for, to get blocks because the pressure's coming in because you have a two-man blitz off that left edge, which if you guys need a more detailed version of the blitz, uh, showing how it works against regular uh, pass blocking, we can show you that in another video. You can check that out in the description. Um, but again, uh, the setup I'm talking about, all these adjustments, uh, that is extra. The main thing you need is any two-man under, and you want to put the side that the running back is going on uh, so like for example on the right side we want to put him on a contain um, that's really all you need but I like to go ahead and do all this extra stuff um, because it makes the defense more stout overall against other players and so we'll show you one more time here that contain just sits on the screen and then uh, if you need <coughs> the reason I say use two men under is because if we're using a wide receiver screen you're gonna see now how the two men under coverage with those flat zones and everything works together against the wide receiver screen because the contain will not stop a wide receiver screen. So we need something else, something extra, and that's why we use two men under. Because here we're going to show you that press at this line of scrimmage is going to make it very difficult to get the wide screen. And there you see we get it blocked, but that contain and those flat zones flow out over there. Most of the time they won't even get a block, but uh, in the event that they do, we have the uh, people in position uh, to take that away. And so that's kind of the point of using all these adjustments so that we make it a better overall defense not just for one thing we can stop multiple things from this um, this is a very good base defense to come out in in general because you have uh, basically a cover one and with your middle linebacker but you have those two flat zones and you have two man edge pressure coming off that right side so we'll show you one more time the way that this thing works against the screen and there you see we blow it up in the backfield and uh, that's the typical result when we put those safeties in those flat zones so real quick guys, a quick recap, any two men under, put a contain to the running back side and then put those two flat zones from the safeties and drop the middle linebacker into a deep zone. Uh, that stuff is extra, uh, but make sure you do call any two men under and put that contain because that's essential to stopping the slip screen. Alright guys, well thanks for watching today's video. Uh, real quick, I want to draw your attention to the description. You can check that out where we're going to have uh, the video that talks about how you can send pressure from this nickel 335. I have a couple of other videos coming out soon that's going to be able to give you uh, some nice pressure blitzes to come off the left and right edge of the nickel 335. So thanks for your time today guys, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow.